Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to the final three episodes of season one of March Comes In Like a Lion. Honestly, I cannot believe we're here, one, but even though we still have more in the second half of season one, um, honestly, I really have no idea how in the world they're going to end this and going on into where season or really season two or second half of the um, show is going to start and everything, but... I, I hope we get something on Kyoko because your girl wants it a little bit more on Ray because Ray is precious baby boy and we love him. Um, Momo and her sisters and really honestly anything. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started on episode 20 and 3, 2, 1, go. But something tells me with episode 22, it's gonna be like, I don't know, heartbreaking, heart wrenching. You're gonna make me cry? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, you're just getting engulfed by that snow cloud. Really storm, but... And that represents Yuki. Oh yeah, this is part two! Mm. I don't think that's Kyoko. Oh. And you guys stayed together. Oh. Yeah, but so this is just a dream. They're so proud of you. Exactly.
You don't have to keep doing this if you don't want to. Sometimes, you know, as an athlete, or really anyone, you know when your time is up. This match for Kai is going to make or break him. Yeah, because you still love it. Well, <laughs> it's better if he doesn't know. Oh, God. It was inevitable, though. I mean, he was bound to find out, but I didn't want him to find out like this. Of course, but your match is equally as important as Kai is, but... Mm Something about that just tells me Kai isn't going to win. As much as I would love Kai to win, something's going to happen and he's going to lose. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-uh.
Oh god, mm mm. Out. Go. <laughs> uh. Is Smith gonna play? Very intimidating. Uh. Yeah, he's way too intimidating. <laughs> He's very passionate as well. Hella scary. But interesting. Me too. I mean, class A seems hella scary. I don't think I could do that either. Oh my god.
Hi. There has to be a reason on why he's going to do that. Maybe we won't see it now, but possibly later. He won, didn't he? And Kai lost. But scary at the same time. Hmm? Right? Exactly. Mm. How can you still have a career with four straight losses, you know? But what else could he do, though?
same place. His voice is really pretty, though. Even though this is, like, what, the second, third time we've heard it? So pretty. Mm. Did you leave Kai at home or did he? so bad for him four losses four straight losses what do you how can you okay because there have been situations like this in other series and stuff but how do you pick up the pieces how do you pick up yourself and move on like i feel like kai won't be able to i mean because what's his face yuki is super duper strong the class system or the leveling you know when one is beneath another and how oh, excuse me i'm sorry it's seven o'clock and i'm getting sleepy um it's so easy to knock someone down just like that and then next you know they're rock bottom and they have to you know pick themselves up and start all the way up from the bottom again and sometimes it's hard and you know after a while you don't want to do it over again and again and again and again and again and again but i think with ray's help and support um nakaido and even what's his face i think kai will be able to do this honestly with this episode but like oof like i wasn't expecting it to go down the way it went down but as much as i was like yeah the guy's gonna lose secretly your girl wanted to see him win and to be happy and to go home happy and have his class and you know have everybody be happy for him and you know congratulate him but But, it's really? (laughs) (laughs) 
I can't look at this without laughing. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take it seriously, but just to see, like, a JoJo. <laughs> oh, God, I can't. It's the way it hurts. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know, no matter what. It's a cycle of becoming an athlete or whatever you're doing in your career for your future and stuff like that. There are going to be days, you can't win everything. There are going to be days where you're going to lose and there are going to be days where you're going to win. But for now, this is his losing streak until he is able to find that courage or that strength. Whether it's through himself, through others supporting him, he's going to get that courage and strength up and he's going to be able to, you know, fight another day who knows when that could be that could be in the next two episodes that could be in episode 23 to uh how long is this show about almost 50 episodes maybe um but honestly i don't really know we'll have to wait and see but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 21 okay episode 21 in three two one Oh God. You know, Kai, it's okay. No, Kai. See, I wish it would rain here in Florida for one day. It's been sunny and cold every single day, but I need that rain. Rain, it just, oof. I love when it rains. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
course not. Remember, you tried your best. French whale. Hmm. Did you just fuck up? Can you participate in your condition, Kai, though?
Oh, he's so pretty. But sad thing is he got sick. He should be better now, though. Oh, my God, that voice. But still, his voice, like, oh my god. He's so precious. <laughs> oh, Chris. Me yeah, selling rice balls. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Mm, put some spicy mayo in the rice balls. Oh my god, I'm hungry. <laughs>
There we go. Oh, this looks so good. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> Why does Japanese food look so much better than American food? Because sometimes, you know, you don't want a burger. Sometimes you don't want pizza. But if you want pizza, you want like some, mm, some real good Japanese pizza. Yeah, because imagine if Momo was here. But that's almost a thousand yen! Oh, that looks so good. 1,610 yen. Jesus Christ. I mean, I know that's not a lot, but like, damn. <laughs> So, so like yeah, that's like what ten dollars? Yeah, I mean that ain't a lot, but like I mean because of course five thousand yen is about fifty bucks, and I use that to buy when I um buy uh buy gems or like some of my Japanese games. But like oof, oh my god. Okay, no, 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 baby, no, no. How is that a real genius move? You can't fight governor. Oh, sweet potatoes. <gasps> yes, girl! <laughs> no, 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 Momo, you call her. You call her.
that's so cute! <laughs> Perfect. Mm hmm. Well, damn, Mama. Colin, right? <laughs> huh? Oh, he's right outside. Honestly, I hope that happens for Hina. That that would be a dream. I mean, honestly, what she created was just adorable. And I mean, you know, especially when you're trying to create and think of new ideas for a restaurant, a store, um, any places. It sometimes is a little hard and you never know how everyone really is going to um, think about your opinion and stuff. Because you never know. I mean, you know. It's a gamble every single time, you know, especially with me sometimes trying to pick shows for whatever season I'm watching. And then especially, you know, when we get into at least those first or second two weeks of whatever anime season we're in and I get little suggestions and then I have to see, do I have time for this or do I have time for that? Oh, maybe I kind of have time for this. But then if I really want to watch something that's like something that I haven't put on my list yet. I'm like, oh my god, that looks so good. And the next thing you know, someone's like, can you really watch this? Like, I know you're busy, but I, I think, you know, maybe you have a little time for this, and maybe I do, and sometimes I don't. But, you know, it's a it's a gamble every day of our lives, and you never know what the hell is going to happen. The first half of the episode was really good, too. Seeing Nakaido, like, play a shogi match with humans, which as the pieces was interesting a really different take because the only type of take that i've seen on it is harry potter with the freaking um match in the sorcerer's stone which was so freaking long ago but never thinking that you could 
you know, have regular people be the playing, the, the pieces. Very interesting. A really nice take on it. I mean, first you showed me the cats, and that was just adorable as hell. And I'm like, oh my god, but like the human part was sweet. I mean, honestly, also, this made me hungry as well. I mean, mm, as someone who hasn't eaten meat in, like, two weeks, uh, almost two weeks, by this Saturday it'll be two weeks for me, um, and such, and who kind of would love to eat, because I think what I'm going to do is, with regular meat, so, like, ground turkey, ground beef, um, chicken, whatever, I probably won't be eating those anymore, but I still want, like, the only seafood I eat is shrimp, really, Shrimp and tuna, and that's it. But as someone who really wanted to try some of the foods that they made in this, because, oh my god, like I said, you know, when you look at, like, any food that is not from America, it looks so good, and then when you compare it to American food, you're like, my food look nasty, I want yours. Because <laughs> if I had a burger, like, uh, or whatever, and somebody has this amazing gourmet Thing of a meal I'm like can I have some like oh my god like your girl still wants to try Japanese curry and I don't think the Walmart that I go to has like the roux for it we do have a um there's two there's two around here we have a a, a Japan no an Asian food store up the street from us and then there's an, an international foods place like three five minutes away maybe one day you know when i walk around and stuff i'll be like yeah let's go in the store and let's see if they have like some curry room so because i want curry like that whether it is freaking well the only kind type of curry i can kind of eat now is vegetable curry unless i found like fake plant-based pork or plant-based chicken and then i could have it like that to get that experience and stuff because i mean oh my god your girl, it's the it's the dream. Same thing with sushi. I still want to try sushi again because like I had sushi when I was fifteen or sixteen. I didn't like it and such, but I would still want to try it again and such. I think because where I got it, it wasn't good. So I think if I tried it like somewhere, almost whether it's here in America, especially where I live, that is somewhat near to authentic. And such, just the same thing with ramen. I mean, like, yeah, you can eat ramen, you know, wherever. But, like, down, like, mm, 15 minutes away from my place. Like, there, oh, my God, there's this ramen place that I really want to go to. That is the goal for my birthday this year because I wanted to go last year. But because of COVID, and we're still in COVID, I wasn't able to go. Or maybe one day, like, if I have enough money, you know, I might order from them. And just, you know, have it delivered to the house. Because your girl wants to freaking try some really good, authentic ramen and stuff. Because, like what they have on that menu oh my god but yeah this episode second half made me really really hungry and i'm kind of hungry now i haven't eaten since about like three four hours ago but i liked it for what it was it was a very nice interesting episode i cannot wait to see what in the world is gonna happen in this last episode but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 22. okay final episode in three two one go mm I'm stuck to the freaking sea. 
So beautiful. Hmm? Yeah, of course, because it's a new school term. <clears throat> but you can still talk to him. Of course, and you were on your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, most people think shyness and being quiet is just a phase, but sometimes it's not a phase. I never thought about that when I was in high school. Like, how many more years? I just thought about it as jail. <laughs> I want to know the name of this song so bad. It's so freaking good. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, God. Should be.
Hmm? That's a fantastic idea. Mm-hmm. Advertisement, of course. You make a sign. You put it somewhere, and then, of course, then eventually, maybe you start asking, and eventually, you'll have your four other members. Because you want to better your education and yourself. And to have a life that, you know, you possibly could have never had because of Strokey. And you're balancing it. <laughs> really? <laughs> of course. <laughs> And you can't have kids from other school join because, mm. Huh? What are you guys making? <laughs> oh, not though. Even though, uh. Really? Oh my god. I never knew that Nato would seem so... Uh, really? I thought it was just a different kind of bean, not soybeans. Is it really good? Uh... Are you going to combine the club together? Mm. Yeah. Ah, of course. <laughs> really? 
Great. Yeah. Then you would have enough members. Ta -da. They can still do their science experiments and you can do shogi at the same time. It's perfect. I just can't believe you. Uh, seriously, like, oh my god. I, I thought he was a teacher the whole entire time. But no, <laughs> he's a student. Yay! Everything works out in the end. Fighter, the big Kyoko. Her baby. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, poor baby. Hmm? <laughs> Will they? Will they really?
Yeah, that too. That's a good question. He didn't sit with anyone. Mm. Of course. Because you're always alone. No, it won't. You always had someone with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you felt happy and comfort that someone was there with you. Yeah. Not everyone's going to like you, though. The mm. Cairo?
And in a way, you're not lonely anymore. You have friends with you. You have the this, this and everybody else. You even got Kyoko, but you know, that's a whole different ballgame. Mm-hmm. That's a good metaphor. So final thoughts on the first half of this show. I really enjoyed this for what this was. This is a very gorgeous, beautiful show. I don't even know what else to say. This show was so damn good. There were some highs and some lows that I loved about it. I don't think there was really anything that I hated or disliked about it. But oh my god. It ended really on the fir for the first half of the show on a really good high note and honestly I cannot wait to see what the hell is gonna happen next in the second half I'm glad that I was able to watch you know these last three episodes together because of course these were the last three episodes that I had left of the first half of season one um everything that happened Ray losing his mother father and sister to him you know coming into Kyoko's family and you know being accepted by the family but really more of Kyoko's father and then the discipline of or really the sibling rivalry between um Ray and his stepsis uh siblings and then also Kyoko and her situation and everything everything about this show was good even though we are not really done with this show I mean it still feels like it's the end but at the same time it's just the beginning and honestly whatever really is going to happen next for Ray as a character for Hina for Momo for Akari for um Hina Momo and Akari's grandfather um any other character that we've met Kai and Akaido Smith um anybody whatever's gonna happen for them whether it's for the good or the bad I honestly like I said I can't wait I hope it that that it's good I hope that in the second half of this show we do still get a Kyoko episode because number one right now she is the top person that I really want to see an episode on on a day in her life and especially what her mind goes through when we're seeing it through Ray's POV yes I'm getting the sense of like how he sees her and such but it's different when you see the mindset of another character just how we did with the Smith episode and the Kai episodes where they were the ones who were essentially the main character of the week and then eventually we went back to Ray to see how Ray you know views the world or how like Ray through Nakaido's eyes views the world and such like that there needs to be something for Kyoko you don't you know build her up as a character to not really you know almost like to downgrade her in the end and I'm not saying that they've done that because she is still a really amazing character and gets time in her own moments to shine but still I'm still wanting praying hoping that we do get that episode because I feel like there is something there that I myself don't know about that you guys possibly know about I still hope that you know later on we get the situation about Nagaido and his illness because as the when I asked the first time everybody kept saying oh it's gonna come but it's just not you know when it, it when it comes it comes so I'm guessing it's gonna come into the second half of this show but I'm really happy that you know Ray he has a club to go to to play Shogi and to you know almost still be himself yes he's always been alone since you know the moment he's been into shogi but he's met people along this journey whether it's other shogi players or just people you never would have thought you would have had a friendship with down, uh, like down the line and you know still I, I love it even you know Hina calling him <laughs> and he was outside their house it was so sweet like oh my god I just love this show so much and I can't wait to see 
what's going to happen in the second half. But other than that, guys, that is our reaction for you towards episodes 20 to 22 of March Comes In Like a Lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 23 and 24. Bye, guys.